Rain is coming and one of the most popular gardens to visit in our area is the Discovery Garden in Fair Park. The pollinator garden alone is worth the trip. Jeff Frey shows us why in this week's Gardening 101. In the 80 plus years of the Texas Discovery Garden in Dallas, the city has expanded around it. So they have dug in, creating an oasis of native habitat. Those native plants are important to be able to provide habitat for those insects. Not just the butterflies, but also the beetles, the little spiders, the tiny little midges, all kinds of little things that you may not realize is there, but are really dependent on those plants. What you can learn from the garden is that native and well-adapted plants can feed the locals and starve your water bill. The native perennials with their deep, deep roots are perfectly adapted to get through long droughts. They sometimes die back in the really hot days of summer, but they'll come back even if you don't water them. If we all just planted a little bit native, it would go a long way to stabilize the small but vital members of our ecosystem. Just providing a plant that provides some nectar is going to give some food to an insect that needs it, and then that's part of the whole food chain. There are some attractive ways to provide this food. One of the easiest and best looking plants to plant is a coneflower, so that's echinacea. Carrie plants lots of salvias and yuccas. Flowering trees are also a great food source. The garden has a rare golden ball lead tree. During the warm season, it waits for rain. You have one of those summer rainstorms, it's going to flush out the blooms after that. And suddenly, this will come out. Yeah. All, these <laughs> All these beautiful yellow puffballs. This flowering tree is difficult to find, but pollinators will love it. There is much to discover in the garden at Fair Park. The lesson to learn is to support your local wildlife. A big mission to help the small. Jeff Ray, Gardening 101. If you've got a question about your garden, Jeff is your guy. Just go to CBSNewsTexas.com, click on the Gardening 101 link, and submit it to Jeff. He'll try to dig you up an answer.